Let's begin with news that is just coming in. Prime Minister has reviewed the progress of India's highest upcoming dam in Arunachal Pradesh, Dibang Multipurpose Project. He has set a deadline for 2032 after a high-level review meeting. CNN News 18 was first to report on India's plan to counter China's Brahmaputra dam plan. My colleague Aman Sharma is with me on the broadcast. Uh, Aman, 2032 is the deadline already. Tenders have been floated. So it looks like Prime Minister himself is ensuring that there's no, uh, uh, you know, there's no laxity that is maintained as far as countering China is concerned. Uh, absolutely, Arunima. Arunima, the Prime Minister has reviewed the Dibang multipurpose project. A detailed review of this entire project has been carried out by the Prime Minister along with the senior officials of the state government as well as the NHPC, which is executing this project. And we had reported last month, uh, the first, that you know the government had also invited tenders worth rupees 17 thousand crores to build this dam India it will be India's highest dam to come up in Arunachal Pradesh and the urgency of first the tender being invited and now the Prime Minister also personally reviewing this project stems from the fact that in July these reports had come from China that China had started building its, da its dam on the same river in the Tibetan plateau and the Dibang multipurpose project that becomes very very crucial now because this will be our buffer to stop you know any flooding in our area if there's a sudden release of uh, water from the Chinese dam so it's a very important buffer that India is building hmm. uh, rupees 17,000 crore worth uh, project. The Prime Minister in this review meeting has again stressed that project should not get delayed. The Prime Minister has said the deadline of this project is 2032. It must be met. The, you know, the, it should, the work should happen fast because the delay in the project often has a double whammy. You know, not only is the cost of the project goes up, but people are also not able to derive the benefits of the project on time. That is why the Prime Minister has said the state government, the PSU, NHPC should work together as a team, hmm. do uh, regular reviews so that this uh, prestigious project, this very important strategic project comes up by, in time by 2032. Right. Aman, thank you so much. Aman Sharma there helping us understand what this means for India and how the Prime Minister himself is ensuring that the project meets its deadline of 2032. Moving on, heavy rainfall overnight has triggered landslides across West Bengal and Sikkim, particularly in Darjeeling and Gangtok. National Highway 10 is disrupted at Chitre and Selfie Dara, while the Coronation Bridge to Sikkim is blocked as well. Police has advised commuters to use the Lava Gorbuthan stretch in Kalimpong. Tourist sites like Tiger Hill and Rock Garden in Darjeeling have been shut down. Authorities are urging people to avoid unnecessary travel. The death toll from the landslides and mudslides in North Bengal has now risen to 14, with more feared trapped uh, in, in that uh, situation. The IMD has issued red and orange alerts for heavy rains, thunderstorms and gusty winds in Sikkim and surrounding areas. The rain which began on September 30th is expected to continue till 7th of October. Rescue teams are working to clear debris and officials advise the public to stay updated and safe.